welcome to a small journey collecting some flight archery data. So about an hour and a half away from my workshop, uh, there is a huge open field of sand in the middle of nowhere, or in the middle of the mountains actually. Because there is an abandoned mine, uh, the place is called Knaben, uh, and it's really perfect for flight archery. And so, after shooting uh, past 600 meters in Istanbul, I wanted to see if I could do the same here. Um, and I also wanted to see if I could measure the speed of the flight arrows. So, do a flight shoot and measure the speed at the same time. Um, so, I could connect some actual distances with these uh, speed readings that I have. And the bow that I will be using is, uh, well, it's glass fiber laminated and it's about 90 pounds at uh, 27 inches. And it's this specifically the, uh, the bow that I shot 617 meters with in Istanbul. And I also tested this bow in the shooting machine in the previous video. And uh, it did, um, there was one arrow at uh, 23 inches draw. It did 300 feet per second and uh, at 25 inches it did 328 and then at full draw at 27 inches or 27.3 inches these are all 0.3 um, it shot uh, 371 feet per second as the best it also shot 360 um, and of course shooting through the shooting machine is quite easy because I just use both hands to, to pull with. Uh, but I'm not really strong enough for this, uh, this bow shooting it by hand. Um, the arrows that I use, they are 24 inches long and um, I guess I generally manage to draw them about an inch behind the grip. So it should be like a 25 or 26 inch draw depending on how you measure it and anyways it should give speeds around uh, 328 feet per second and here you can see the best flight archery field in Norway this time I was joined by Kjell and Frode and uh, this little creature This is Kjell, and uh, he is shooting a 110 pound yew longbow. I think it was laminated from hickory, maple, and yew, and he did get a distance of 325 meters, which is pretty good. And here we have uh, Frode, who is shooting his uh, 35 pound flight bow. It is laminated from uh, bamboo and uh, ipe. And he actually got a distance of uh, 251 meters uh, with this small uh, wooden bow. And here, finally, some uh, short clips of the test shots. Uh, as you can see, I was simply shooting straight across the chronograph. So I got a distance and a reading, 322 on this one. And I also did take a photograph of each arrow. So I knew which arrow I had shot and uh, could put together the data later on. So this one was 326. And if we pause this image, you could see the numbers on the arrow. The 15 stands for 15 millimeters of deflection, meaning that if you spine test the arrow with supports 26 inches apart and you hang a two pound weight in the middle of it, the shaft will then bend down 15 millimeters. And this is just mainly for safety reasons. So you don't shoot a, an arrow that is too weak because it might just hit the grip and then explode. Uh, and splinters everywhere <laughs> and of course the the arrow weight 191 that's grains in total arrow weight <laughs> this shot was the one that went the farthest at uh, 544 meters <laughs> and 
this reading at uh, 114 is not trustworthy. <laughs> this shot was one of the faster ones at uh, 344 feet per second. The arrow was quite lightweight at only 179 grains though, um, but still one of the fastest ones. The distance was 497 meters. And this one going 325 feet per second, but only going uh, 443 meters. This one was the fastest at uh, 346 feet per second, but it only went 504 meters. <laughs> Up until this point I have only been shooting split cane bamboo arrows, uh, but these two last ones, they are some groups, and they did surprisingly well. Uh, they were quite heavy, uh, and they're about a millimeter thicker than the bamboo arrows. But even so, the best one of these two spruce arrows went, um, well, uh, 325 feet per second and 524 meters. So that's just 20 meters behind the best split cane arrow. Still, 544 meters as a best shot of the day. That's 73 meters behind what uh, this bow and these arrows managed in Istanbul. So my conclusion of this day at Knaben and also at Istanbul is that the weather conditions in Istanbul was pretty good. And here are the results. I did plot these numbers into a graph and uh, in this graph the, the arrows 1 to 12 are oriented such that the arrow weight goes up from left to right and as you can see there is a correlation between the arrow weight and also the speed. So the lighter the arrow, the faster the arrow, which is something we knew already. <laughs> but uh, looking at the meters, uh, it all seems, at least to me, quite random, which basically boils down to that the weather conditions were quite chaotic. And so more testing is needed, and preferably on a day where there's no wind. <laughs>